Iran's Ibrahim Raisi, who died aged 63 in a tragic helicopter crash on May 19th, rose through Iran's theocracy from hardline prosecutor to uncompromising president. He oversaw crackdown on protests at home and pushing hard in nuclear talks with world powers. He also polished his credentials to position himself to become the next supreme leader. Elected president in a closely controlled vote in 2021, Raisi took a tough stance in the nuclear negotiations, seeing a chance to win broad relief from US sanctions in return for only modest curbs on Iran's increasingly advanced technology. Iran's hardliners had been emboldened by the chaotic US military withdrawal from neighboring Afghanistan and policy swings in Washington. In 2018, then US President Donald Trump had reneged on the deal Tehran had made with the six powers and restored harsh US sanctions on Iran, prompting Tehran to progressively violate the agreement's nuclear limits. Indirect talks between Tehran and US President Joe Biden's administration to revive the deal have been stalled. Raisi's hardline position was also evident in domestic politics. A year after his election, the mid-ranking cleric ordered tighter enforcement of Iran's hijab and chastity law, restricting women's dress and behavior. In late 2022, public anger erupted over the death of Mirza Amini in the custody of Iran's morality police, who had arrested the 22-year-old as she left a metro station in Tehran with members of her family for alleged non-compliance with the country's mandatory hijab rules. Protests roiled Iran for months with women taking off or burning their hijabs and cutting their hair off in protest. The rallies came to an end in mid-2023 after some 500 people were killed when security forces moved in to break up the protests. Seven people were executed for their roles in the unrest. The United Nations fact-finding mission concluded in March this year that Iran committed crimes against humanity in the crackdown, including murder, torture and rape. Although a political novice, Raisi had full backing for the nuclear stance and the security crackdown from his patron, the strongly anti-Western supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. Khamenei, rather than the president, has the final say in all major policies under Iran's dual political system split between the clerical establishment and the government. But Raisi's election victory after heavyweight, conservative and moderate rivals were disqualified by a hardline oversight body brought all branches of power in Iran under the control of hardliners loyal to Khamenei and bolstered. Raise his chances of one day succeeding him as supreme leader. However, the widespread protests against clerical rule and the failure to turn around Iran's struggling economy, crippled by Western sanctions and mismanagement, may have diminished his popularity at home. As a young prosecutor in Tehran, Raisi sat on a panel that oversaw the execution of hundreds of political prisoners in the capital in 1988, as Iran's eight-year war with Iraq was coming to an end. Inquisitions known as death committees were set up across Iran, comprising religious judges, prosecutors and intelligence ministry officials to decide the fate of thousands of detainees in arbitrary trials that lasted just a few minutes, according to a report by Amnesty International. While the number of people killed across Iran was never confirmed, Amnesty said minimum estimates put it at 5,000. News Desk, Global.